Hi, this is Mike from Keysoft Solutions. And today we're going to show you how you can share your Keyscape LandCAD drawing with users of Autodesk Revit. Here's my Keyscape LandCAD drawing and everything is geo-referenced in the real world as it may exist. If I look at the same project area in my Revit model, what you'll see is the coordinate point that the architect is using is not at 0, 0, as it would appear in the AutoCAD drawing, and the building has been rotated to be horizontal and vertical. Before I export from Keyscape, I need to make sure that my coordinate point, my shared coordinate point, as it's often referred to, um, is correctly defined, and the orientation so that the planting appears in the right location. The architect can publish that back to you and that would typically come across as information, as easting and northing information. So what I need to do is I need to use this information to find the or capture the point for export. The simple thing to do is if I combine these here, I'm just going to copy that, and separate them by a comma. That's my easting and northing, which is my X and Y in AutoCAD. I'm just going to copy that. I've got to note that the rotation is 67. So I go back to my Keyscape model. I now want to export the project. So if I go to Core, under Core, we've got an option under Tools here to export to Revit. Pick on the option here. What this allows me to do is define what information I want to send out to Revit. So you're in control of what the architect gets. For the purposes to start with, I'm just going to export just the, the tree planting. I'm not worried about the, the paving areas or anything like that. OK, that. I'm going to pick just the specimens. So I'm just going to put a window around everything and it will just pick the specimens. It'll ask me now to define a point for export. So if I use the coordinates I've just got there as the center point which is there the orientation as we saw in the project here is 67 so I'll just type in 67 that should define for me that coordinate point now you could put a marker in the drawing uh, if you wanted to I'm just going to export this as Keyscape Planting Plan 2017 I can then send that file, that KXR file, to the Revit user. The Revit user can go to the Keysoft Solutions support and they can download a free add-in, which is the Keyscape import for their Revit project. Before I import the data, I need to make sure I'm in the correct view. And within here, I've got a 3D view. This allows me, when I import the tree data, to select which surface model the trees are going to sit on. So the model that's active or terrain that these, uh, the plants will sit along. So I go to import here. I go and get the file I was just working with, which is this one here, which is uh, 17. Open the file. On import, you get different choices. I'm only bringing in the trees, so I'm going to select, I want to have a one-to-one -one relationship. And in this situation here, I'm going to physically attach the data to the family. So they apply the specification to the family. Okay, that, it will now go through and process that data. It's now loading the families. And there we are, there's the, the trees, the existing trees in the Revit model positioned on the surface and I've also got under each of the trees a root ball so you can do clash detection and you can as it's a tree with a shadow a pretty tree you can do shadow analysis if I pick on the tree sorry you'll see here is all the parameter information that's defined from Keyscape associated to the model If I want to do planting areas, again, I could go back to my model here. 
uh, I want to export again, but this time I'm just going to do the planting area. So I go back to export drawing. I'm going to choose planting areas and hedges. I won't worry about the specimens this time. Again, it's going to ask me to select everything. So I'm just going to pick a crossing window around everything. It'll ask me now to define that uh, coordinate point. Again, the rotation was 67 degrees. I'm going to write this out as 2017 shrubs. Again, I can send that KXR file to the user. I want to import the uh, planting information this time. It's asking me, do I want to remove the trees? No, I don't. I want to leave them there. I want to bring in the shrub planting. I'm going to show you something different now because when we bring the shrub planting, we don't necessarily want all the shrubs drawn because we end up with lots and lots of uh, symbols in the drawing. So I'm just going to represent these symbolically by saying I want a one to eight relationship. Um, and that would basically bring the planting areas in, but represent every plant will be represented by, or one symbol represents eight plants. Okay, so what this is doing here, it's just, there's a few uh, messages from Revit. Uh, and there's our planting plan now, with all the plant information from the planting areas uh, as individual symbols. The data is not attached to those, but what I've got in the project is a 2D plan representation. So there's a, a plan representation of our drawing. We've got the 3D representation. The trees have got the physical data attached to it. And because all this is in the Revit project, I can actually schedule this data out. So if I go to a schedule here, there's all the schedule information customizable from Revit. And the last thing is you may need to grow these trees on. So again, within the, if I pick on one of the trees, I can select all instances in the drawing. When we load the Keyscape Lancad uh, uh, drawing, we, we load in as well a, a range of families. The size of the trees is based on the size and the, and the planting on the size specified within Keyscape, so the size at supply. Uh, but you can go into here and you can change it. So it's said that these trees, when they're supplied to site, will be about five metres high. I want to look at these, say, at 25 metres. I can replace that with another family that's already in the, the project. And there's our trees at 25 metres high, rather large. So I'm just going to set that back to uh, something like uh, a 10 metre high tree. Uh, and there's our 10 metre high tree. Again, you can choose between oval or round trees. So that gives you uh, an idea how you can exchange data between Keyscape, Landcad and Revit uh, and share your project with Autodesk Revit users.